What's good guys, if you want cheap, fast, and reliable NBA 2K20 MT as well as NFL 20 Muck Coins, please go to dvdj.com, link will be in the description, use code BUGS for 10% off at checkout. What's good YouTube, it's your boy Bugs back on another NBA 2K20 My Team video, and today, as per usual, make sure to drop 10k in the comments, like the vid, so if you're new for a chance at winning, obviously 10k MT. But we're actually going to raise it to 15k MT, so make sure to hit that like button today. We're going to go over some tips and tricks on uh, the market on how to make mad MT. And I found one really good method. And one good method is just sniping out this Emerald Steve Nash. I made a ton of MT off of it. And it's honestly been working pretty well. I've probably gotten 5 in the last, like, I would say 20 minutes. But yeah, man. Try out this Steve Nash. This Steve Nash is not a bad way to make MT. Um, it is early in the morning, so it's probably going to be slower, but as you can see, one was just posted, but yeah, usually, I would say during the middle of the day, they're a lot hotter, but yeah, we're just going to go over a ton of different ways to make a lot of MT. Um, let's check over our amethyst as per usual. Um, right now, to make a lot of MT, you would just pretty much be simply selling your cards. Let's just check out their price. That's too much. Let's check out their prices. Bro, I just played a game online. I just versed Galaxy Opal Dominique, Pink Diamond Surge, and I got destroyed. I'm so tight. I'm so pissed off right now. He beat me, and he had Diamond LeBron in a triple threat game. I, I, you don't even understand how pissed I am. I just got destroyed. Tracy McGrady. I was trying to play good with Tracy, and he actually got clamped. He, the computer was getting steals. I literally was like, what? So, yeah, guys. So, right now, I'm with this throughout its all-time high. Word on the street heat um heat check players might be coming out tuesday i don't know one of my subs told me this i don't know if it's true hopefully it is true because i want to see heat check packs um but yeah right now every single amethyst in the game is at its peak you'll never see him at his price again like this um they've been really cheap for a while they have ro they rise a lot this is a time to pick up um like Kawhi, Giannis, all of them they're all super high if you guys can get rid of them and pick them up later. Maybe when heat check pop packs come out, they'll drop. We'll see. But yeah, um, Curry's down. Uh, Curry's up a lot too. Right now, if you have any cards, you gotta sell. There's no point of keeping any of your cards. Like, let's check out Tracy's price. Right now, everything's really expensive, like super expensive, and it's kind of crazy. Let's see. Oh, Tracy for 79k, bro. We've been trying to bid on LeBron James. For so long, like straight up, like honestly, I don't know how to get LeBron. If you guys know any tips, like 260, 260, yo, I don't want to bid on him for that much. You know what I'm saying, dude? 258. Let's bid on him for 256, bro. 255. But yeah, guys. So right now, pretty much overall the market, um, market's at its peak right now. Like straight up, I I, I can't say anything else. Like. If you don't sell your cards, you're just going to lose MT. Pretty much, you just got to stay with Amethyst, LeBron. You got to keep your... Keep, you got to get rid of all your players. Honestly, this is what I recommend doing. Um, Sell all your Amethyst. If you have any current day Amethyst, sell them. Start grinding the spotlight challenges, bro. I'm at 6 out of 17. We'll probably be 9. I'm doing 3 a day. That's my method right now because I work all day. So, three 3 a day is my method, okay? This is not a bad, it's not a bad method. You guys can make a ton of MT off this method. And doing Amethyst and stuff, grinding Amethyst, selling Amethyst, all that good stuff is going to work out in the long run. Especially since they're really expensive right now. When packs come out, you will see their price drop. So sell them now before they do drop packs and you lose a ton of MT. It's just a heads up. This is how you make MT. This is how I make MT every week. I have a ton of MT. Um, I have a bit on LeBron, a bit on Tracy McGrady, I have a ton of Antonio Davis's, I have, I've, I have like a lot of MT, like a lot, and this is what I've been doing, simply selling Amethyst, and uh, yeah, selling Amethyst is the best, bro, so let's go over some market actually, let's go over some more market, let's check out the, uh, the Diamond Jojo White, let's check out the new content, see what they're going for, if you guys want to buy the new content, I'm going to go over all that too, so let's see, Jojo White, we got 50k, 40k. So the new diamond Jojo White is at 40k. Honestly, it's not a bad buy at all. His stats are pretty freaking good. If you want to pick up this card, 
Not a bad eye, honestly. I like this card. It's not a bad buy whatsoever. And they also got an Austin car. Um, let's see. Austin car. 26K, 29K, 23. Whoa. Whoa, wait a second. 27K for a diamond? I might pick him up and do a little gameplay action for you guys. Let's see if we can get one out. Snipe one out, maybe, real quick. Come on, give me something. 27K. Ooh, 26K. Yo, for some reason in the morning, everything's so, like, weirdly priced. I don't know if you guys are, like, if you ever play in the morning, but everything's so weirdly priced in the morning. Yesterday, I missed a T-Mac for 62K. Big L. But right now, honestly, you should probably pick up an Austin car. If he's this cheap at a diamond and these packs are gone soon, this car right here could go up to, like, 40K. This seems like the same thing that happened to my Willis Reed. And I made a ton of MT. But yeah, dude, he might be a, a nice method to make MT. Let's check out Willis Reed. 35K and then 42, 34K. And, mm, I might pick him up and sell for 42. If I pick both of them up, I sell him for 42 minus 4K, 38, 38. I'll make 3K and 4K. I mean, that's not bad. I might do that. 7K profit. Will it sell though? It's interesting. Let's check out Julius Irving. Julius Irving is a really good diamond I like to look at. I saw him for 40k the other day and I missed out on it. I should have bought it. Now he's 52k, 50k. L's for me. Dude, if we get Diamond LeBron, big dubs. Yo, let's see who else is in this set. We got Karl Malone. Honestly, yo, another good way to make MT is trying to snipe out Karl Malone's, bro. There's a lot of them posted. He's probably one of the more common amethysts in the game. So if he's common... Then that means you guys can snipe him very easily. I sniped out only one for about 16k. He's only like 20k, but not a bad price to keep and do the collection for. Let's see. Maybe we get him for like, ooh, 14. Whoa, his price dropped a ton. Maybe you could get him for like 12. Let's see. 14. Good thing I didn't. Oh my god, good thing I sold mine. 14.5, 14.8. This is not a bad price. Yo, it's not bad. But, yo, this is in the morning, too. No one's really on at this time. So, there's usually a lot of... There's, like... Usually, a lot of cars are really cheap at this time. And, usually, not a lot are posted. So, just saying. Um, we got Carl Malone, Tracy, Tyson Chandler, Steve Nash, Devin Harris. So, uh, none of them really go for a lot. LeBron, um, T-Mac go for a lot. Supposedly, you do not need this Rolando Black for the set. But, honestly... Steve Nash goes for a decent amount. Everyone else, they go for nothing. Dude, including this Michael Finley, bro. They go for absolutely nothing. Like, they're jokes. Like, straight up. Let's see what else we got. Like, legacy packs. So, right now, let's check out this Bill Walton. I haven't even looked at him yet. I know if you guys watch my new content video. Let's see. Is he snipable? Could we snipe him for 100k? He's only 125k. Uh, he's probably way more than that. But let's see. Mid range 83. Free throw 82. Say no. All right. Yeah, he's pretty good. Block's probably good. Yeah. Not bad. Pink diamonds. Not. Uh, he's all right for a pink diamond. But yo, someone told me that Earl Monroe might might not be a bad stock right now. Let's see. Cause when those when that car comes out, he could go up a lot. He's at 88k. That's not bad. So one of my subs, shout out to him. I forgot who, I think it was Bryce Mendez. I don't know. Don't quote me. One of my subs said that um, I should pick up Earl Monroe. And um, hopefully his price goes up. Is that a good option? I mean, honestly, let's check it out. Let's check out premium. Let's see. Check out premium. Where, where is it? Is it legacy? Here it is, right? Earl Monroe. Oh. Oh, they're all out already. So we got the Cine Moncrief, the George Mike, and you can get your 200 tokens. Honestly, this set is trash. If you guys do this set, you're crazy. You got to drop. Yo, this George Mike is nice. 93K. You got to drop over 500K to do this set. I don't know. It's stupid in my opinion. You really want to drop 500K to do just get two. I mean, 200 tokens, though. We might do it, but I don't like any of these cards. That's the whole problem. Honestly. George, Mikey, Bill Walton, Bernard King, Cindy Moncrief. I don't know. I don't know. I don't like any of these cars. Earl, Mer I don't know. George, Mikey, small. Cindy Moncrief, small. Bernard King, small. 
Bill Walton's not good. But anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed. Market tip video is over, but I don't know. Is this set worth it? In my opinion, no. I think it's trash. But anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed. Have a good one. Peace.